In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the crowning glory of all the saints, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this rite in praise of God on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful new image of St. Nicholas for public veneration, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. When the church blesses a picture or statue and presents it for public veneration by the faithful, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come, that we will learn the way that will enable us, most surely, to attain complete union with Christ, that as we struggle along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of the saints, whose friends and co-heirs of Christ, who are also our own brothers and sisters, and our special benefactors, that we will remember how they love us, are near us, intercede ceaselessly for us, and are joined to us in marvelous communion. And now, brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. God our Father makes his saints into the likeness of his Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit continually sanctifies the Church. Let us therefore offer our petitions to him by saying, O God, source of all holiness, in the saints you have shown the many splendors of your grace. Grant that in them we may honor your majesty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. O God of all wisdom, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you built your church on the foundation of the apostles. Keep their teaching secure among your faithful people. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our you made the martyrs powerful witnesses, even to the point of giving up their lives. Help all Christians to bear faithful witness to your Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our you gave holy virgins the gift of imitating the virginity of Christ. Grant that we may see in consecrated virginity a special sign of the promises of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In all your saints, you show your presence and make known your countenance and your word. Grant to your faithful that when they honor the saints, they will find themselves drawn closer to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Could you hold out a hand of blessing towards the statue? Today we praise you for the gifts of the Spirit bestowed on St. Nicholas, in whose honor we dedicate this image. May we follow in the footsteps of the Lord, keeping before us the example of St. Nicholas, 
and grow to a maturity measured not by nature, but by the fullness of Christ. May we proclaim his gospel by word and deed, and shouldering our crosses daily, expend ourselves for others in your service. As we carry out our earthly duties, may we be filled with the Spirit of Christ and keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, where you, Father, receive those who will reign with your Son forever and ever. Amen. And God, the crowning glory and joy of all the saints, has graciously given you the gift of their patronage. May he continue to bestow his blessing upon you. And delivered from present evils by the intercession of St. Nicholas and guided by the example of his holy life, may you be found always ready to serve God and your neighbor. The church rejoices in serenity that you, sons and daughters of the church, are destined to join the saints in heaven and to share their unending happiness. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, bless the statue. Hopefully somebody will have mm -hmm. a nice soft rag to wipe, wipe things off. We invite everyone to join in singing the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. <clears throat> holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our sun shall rise to thee. froze up, you can go over to the Ferry Center and Skip, you got that nice and toasty over there, I bet. <laughs>